colour in the streets. Hello, I'm Tom Ang. Welcome to this series in which I explore fascinating pages from my book, Photography, The Definitive Visual History. It took photographers a long time to shake off the domination of black and white on street photography. Whether for aesthetic reasons or because of snobbery, black and white photography stifled the use of colour for more than 50 years. Walker Evans, who was highly influential in his day, denounced colour photography. Colour tends to corrupt photography and absolute colour corrupts it absolutely. He declared colour photography is vulgar. Henri Cartier-Bresson shared his sentiments. Photography in colour, it is something indigestible, the negation of all photography's three-dimensional values. Colour was regarded as commercial and downmarket, useful for weddings, but not worthy of artistic attention. Then in 1969, John Swakowski, the legendary director of photography at MoMA, Museum of Modern Art, New York, became captivated by American William Eggleston's bold drugstore colour prints. Eggleston acquired stellar status in the following years, which helped to make colour photography acceptable, but it was still not taken seriously. American Joel Merivitz alternated between black and white and colour films for his street photography during the 60s, finally setting on colour in 1972. Inspired by the work of Robert Frank and Eugene Ache, Merovitz photographed scenes of urban America using a carefully controlled palette, generally limited to complementaries or strong colours against pale or dark backgrounds. He was one of the first photographers to fully understand how colours can be used to shape picture composition. Meanwhile, Belgian Harry Griet was starting to use colours as pure elements of a scene, basing his work in exotic locations in Morocco and across Europe. Unlike American colour photographers who favoured large format cameras, Gret used a Leica. Through his use of colour, street photography became less aloof and reliant on a formal composition that marked black and white work. More so than with monochrome, colour revealed juxtapositions of shape and form captured in the image that might have passed unnoticed but for the watchful eye of the photographer. Gret's approach influenced photographers such as Maggie Stieber, Alex Webb and Konstantin Manos who are known for their command of colour. They combine technical control of exposure with perfect timing to capture fleeting juxtapositions of shape and hue. 